Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on the Notification Center. So the Notification Center is um, something that puts um, notifications at an, an easy glance for you. Um, we have shown you in our other tech bit about the control panel that you pull up from the bottom. Now we're going to show you the Notification Center that you pull down from the top. And what we like to do is suggest um, to start in the white area or the colored area and then just pull down. It takes, yes. I think, a little, you know, little Practice. finagling and practicing. Sometimes people get really panicky because they can't right. get it to work, but then you'll get the hang of it. Right. When you bring it down, um, the first thing you see at the top are today and notifications. And this is white. That means we're looking at the today section. And what this is showing me is a summary of today and some important things. And... Um, you can customize this, which I'll show you in a little bit. But the first thing it's showing is the weather. The date. Very important. The date, right. <laughs> and the weather. Oh, my gosh, is that perfect. Sunny and 81. Beautiful. Doesn't happen very often in Minnesota, so no. we enjoy it. Clear tonight. Why are we in here filming? I don't know. Low of 57, too. Beautiful Ooh, nice. sleeping, sleeping weather. Okay. So that's the first part, and this is like a little summary of your today's calendar and what's coming up next. Then you can see I we have got listed reminders, so it's showing me some reminders that I have. Reminders is another is an, an app that's yep. very handy. Yep. Then you can see it's showing me my calendar. Um, we're doing the SS filming right now, and look at we get to go to happy hour. Yay! <laughs> so it'll show you um, your upcoming calendar events, and then at the bottom is a summary of what tomorrow. you have for tomorrow. We have one event at 10 a.m., and then our calendar is clear. All right. So here is where you can edit the today view. So if I tap on edit, you'll see it brings up, this is what we're, in, we're deciding to show. And then you see down here, this says do not include. So we've put all these on the do not include. include. So it will list all the apps that you can put in there. Right. And if you wanted to add one, um, let's say I wanted to add CNN headlines, I'm going to put that in there. And that will go up there. And if you want to get one, rid of one of these, I don't care about my reminders. You would do that and hit remove. remove. Now it's going to go back down there. Thanks. And um, if you want to reorder the way that these are viewed, you just get this little three-line bar, which we see in a lot of different apps, and you just can move them around. Right. So then that'll change how they look when you bring up the notification right. center. What do you want to see first? Right. So now if I hit done, I'm back here into the today view, and you can see CNN is on there. and. There's nothing There's really to, a, no news no today. News going on. <laughs> nothing to report today. <laughs> well, that would involve going to our CNN app, but yeah. we don't have to do that now. So that's the today notification. And then over here is notifications. And what this is, is all the apps that I have decided that I want to know at this easy glancing view um, what notifications they have. And this you customize in settings, which we'll show you in a minute. But right now we have it set up like this. Like we have any list, which is a great list program, right? Right, excellent. So it's showing me um, all these notifications from any list. And then uh, we have several different apps. apps that we've decided that we want to see the, uh, the notifications. Okay, App so Store, iTunes These store. are notifications they... Uh, we'll show you this in a minute. They come up on your screen and then go away, some of them. But you can always see them in here. So it's kind of nice. Right, because yeah. sometimes it'll happen. You're doing something, and something will come up, and it'll show you something, and then it goes away, and you're like, wait, what was that? Where'd it go? Right. You go to your notification center, and you can see it there. Right. And um, if you notice this little X over here in a circle, if I tap on that, it says clear. And what that's going to do is clear these notifications. Go ahead and do it, yeah. And now for that app, it cleared the notifications. Which one did you do? It, well, there were a lot of them. Oh, it gosh. just cleared what was up. Yeah, it's going to keep clearing them until <laughs> Let's do an they're gone. <laughs> oh, Let's do that one probably does it every day. Do any list. Any, or what about this one? Yeah, pedagram. Right, try that. Clear. There. there. Now it doesn't even show up here because there aren't right. any right, right now. It'll come back if, right. someone, if there's a reason to do it. So the way that you customize these and decide what, what apps you want to have the notifications listed here is you go into settings. So I'm going to go out to my home page. 
and I'm gonna go into my settings gear. Okay, and you'll see on the left, again, um, on the iPad, you see on the left, it lists all the apps that you can change the settings, and um, on the right, whatever you have highlighted will show up. And we have a great tech bit on the settings app. Right, and can, on the phone, did you just explain the phone? I was just saying <clears> that. <throat> okay, perfect. <laughs> I had, I had You to can go. tell she's my big sister. She, I'm so always butting in, trying to finish my sentences. I had to go care for the older dog as she was wandering away. So, shall this, I take over? No, I'm <laughs> Oh, not. you're going to do it now. This, okay. okay, so on the iPad you see both at once because it's a bigger screen than your iPhone. If you're on the iPhone, you're just going to see this, and then when you tap on something, this will come up. Right. So we're going to go into notifications, and Barbara's going to show you how to customize that. Okay. So um, notification settings, what we have here is we have, um, you, the first thing you can do is you can decide whether you want to sort those notifications manually, like Karen showed you how you can pick up the three line uh, icon and move up, three bar icon and move it around, or do you want it to sort it by time? You could do that too, so if you want to see the notifications the most and the ones. most current ones, okay? And then here we have a section called include. And here are all the apps that we are including in notifications on this iPad. There are quite a few. Uh, you will notice that when you download a new app, it automatically usually turns this on. So you, when you download an app, it's a good idea to come in here and decide whether or not you really want it to, to do this. And then here's a section of those that are do not include. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to just take a look at one of them. We're going to go into the Messages app, and it's showing me a little summary here. It's saying I'm going to, it's going to do badges, sounds, and banners for messages. So I'm going to go in here and show you how this looks. The first thing is you can turn on or off notifications. Okay. So with completely. messages, completely. They will get no notifications. They'll just come into the app, and you'll have to go and find them yourself. Okay. The next thing is do you want to show it in the Notification Center? And you'll see that it says five here, and then there's a, an arrow head to the right. And if I tap on that, it's going to come up, and it's going to say, what do you want to do? Don't show anything. Show one item, five items, ten items, or 20 items. Right. Okay, with messages, it's kind of nice to show more than one, so we'll just leave it at five. Notification sound. What do you want it to do? Do you want a sound or not? You can mm -hmm. turn that off, or you can pick a sound. Which isn't going to work. Which isn't going to work. Do not disturb on. I have do not disturb on. So you're not going to hear that. But otherwise you would hear the note that you can pick. Okay. So we'll leave that. Okay. I like the hello. I'm going to leave it there. Go back to messages. And here it's going to show me the next thing, which is the badge app icon. What that is, is that's um, the little red number in a little red circle with a number oh, right. in it. That is a badge app icon. Karen is going to send me a text in a minute, and then we'll take a look at it. Well, here, you've got one here. Right on my phone, you can see that. That's that little... Right, right there for, uh, right on the calendar on app. Calendar, saying yep. I have two new events. Two notifications, right. I think those were me changing something. Uh, then we have um, show on lock screen. So when you tap, if your phone is locked, Karen, why don't you try that and see if it, turn your phone off, first of all. Turn your phone off. And yeah. then bring it over here and then just tap. What that would do is right here, it would show the notifications. So if okay. she had that feature turned on and she had some that she needed to see, they would show up here without even turning the phone on. So you could mm -hmm. see, oh, I got three text messages. I better go look at them. Right. Okay. And I don't have that turned on for my iPad, but I do for my phone. The next thing is the alert style. When unlocked, when your phone is unlocked or your iPad is unlocked, how do you want to see these when you're working? Okay. Do you want to see no notifications, banners, or alerts? Notice how banners has a circle around it because that's the one I've chosen. Karen's going to text me, and we're going to see the banner come up. See how this black thing at the top comes up? It stays for a few seconds, and then it'll go away. Now it's gone. And guess where I can find it? Notification center. Right. Right? But look, now she's going to do it again, and I'm going to change it to an alert this time because I want to make sure that I, well, wait, before you do that. Oh, oh she sent it. okay, she sent it. We'll <laughs> look at this, then I'm going to show you something else about banners. So here it comes up, it says, Karen McKay, iMessage, what do you want to do? Now, this makes me do something. I can't, it doesn't it, go away. It doesn't go away until I decide, close it or the view it. The banner stays up for a couple seconds and then goes away. Right, but this doesn't. So I'm going to go ahead and close, but I could go into view. This is a great thing to do 
if you're expecting an email from somebody or a text or something that you really want to make sure that you see right away, you can turn that on. Now text me one more time. I'm going to go back to banners by tapping on it. And I wanted to show you when the banner comes up, you can act on it too. You don't have to wait for it to disappear. Banner comes up. I can tap on it and it'll take me right into messages. And now I can, yeah. you know, send something back. Boom. Done. So that's what that is. There, once you start using them and doing the different ones, you really start to figure out, like, well, oh, for this app, I want it to be this or that. One. Right, you know, right, exactly. They're very handy. Yep. Messages, um, options that you have. You can show a little preview of the message. I didn't have that turned on. If I turn that on, it'll show me, like, the first sentence or something. Go ahead, mm-hmm. just send me one more. Put a couple words in there, and you'll be able to see that come up in the banner. And that's kind of nice, you know, you can kind of get an idea. Is it something really important? Should you act on it right away or is it no big oh. deal? She's just saying, how are you? You notice up here, it comes up, it says, how are you? It's showing me the text. Yep. I can say, well, that, that's not a big deal. But if she would have said, call me right away, then I right. would have acted on it right yep. away. And then repeat alerts um, once, twice, three times, five times, ten times. You can be yep. alerted many times on these things by app. So... You can decide how often you want to be alerted. Right. And I'm going to keep going back. Notice that you know, we're not back at the beginning because we've got a little back arrow box here saying go back to notifications. Now we're back in the notification center. And underneath each one of these apps, it does show you um, what you've done. Like Passbook, I only have banners. I don't have sounds. I don't have badges. Um, messages, we have badges, sounds, and banners. Uh, here's one that I have badges and banners, but no sounds. So you right. could really customize it any way you want. Yeah. Yep. And that's our uh, tech bit on the notification center. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters tech bit. And please subscribe to our channel.